Okay, so Ian and Mercy here. We're going to do another car, controlled articulate rotation from the FRC system. Um, the one that we're looking for now is actually our scapula or our shoulder blade. So what we're looking for here is not just the whole entire spine to move or not just the arm. We actually want just the shoulder blade to move. So you're going to see it actually glide on the rib cage forward, shrug up, retract back, and then depress. Two biggest things that you're going to have trouble with most of the time are going to be retraction and depression since we're all so used to being forward and in. So try to really think about squeezing the walnut in between your shoulder blades and then also pulling them into your back pockets. Those two cues really help. So first we're going to have Mercer radiate, so she's going to exhale everything out, pull her ribs down and in. Once they're set in, she's going to get nice and tight and sniff some air and actually trap it in her lower abdominals. Once they're there, the tension's there, we're not going to lose our butt at all. So now that she's tight, we're going to go ahead and start off with this one. She's going to have one arm straight out. So from here, what we're looking for is protraction, or basically reaching. So her shoulder blade's going to slide on her rib cage and extend forward. From there, she's going to shrug up. So we're going to pull that up with the trap. Then we're going to crush the walnut in between our shoulder blades and squeeze back. Then we're going to have to use those lower traps and lats to kind of pull back and down. From there, we'll restart the circle with more tension. So she's going to go a little harder, try to get a little bit more range of motion. As she's doing this, let's be conscious that we're not turning the whole back. As she goes and shrugs up, we also don't want a lot of people are going to go like this and turn that neck into it. So try to make sure your neck's staying smooth, spine's nice and aligned. And as she retracts, a lot of the time we're going to get some rib flare with the ribs coming up, especially with the retraction and depression, so be conscious of that. And then we always want to do both directions. So let's go ahead and reverse directions. Let's have her start off forward. Last time we went up, let's go down. So she's going to pull that shoulder blade down in protraction. Now she's going to retract and depress. From there, we're going to go ahead and shrug up and just keep that circle going all the way forward and then back and down. Yeah. So from here, we're going to go ahead and show you another one. Make sure that you're doing both of them. We want you to be strong from every single angle. So we're going to go ahead and take this down by her side. Big difference here is when we're doing this one, what we don't want to really have happen is for her to be moving her arm. So you can see my arm is moving, but there's actually no movement coming from my actual shoulder blade. So just be conscious of that with this one. If the hand ends up over your belt buckle, you definitely went too far. Okay. So from here, she's going to start off with that hand on the side. We'll start it off nice and easy. She's going to squeeze this pec minor right here and protract the shoulder. From there, same thing, all the way up. Then retract all the way back. Then she's going to tuck that back in her back pocket, pulling it back and down. Good. All the way forward again. And then let's reverse directions, back and down. All the way up, good, forward, down, good. So let's say she was having some trouble with her retraction and depression, just like most of the time it's going to happen for a lot of you guys. What we want her to do is go ahead and retract and depress, so she's going to pull that down. Now what I want her to do is stay nice and tight in her core, and I want her to try as hard as she can for 20 seconds to pull this back and down. Just keep tensioning down, literally feel this muscle contracting. If you're a coach, you can kind of feel that on them. And she's just going to keep thinking about pulling that shoulder blade back and down. Spending this time and creating that tension is going to really help when she's going through the movements. It makes a lot of sense that you'd actually be able to stay in a position in order to move in and out of the position. Okay? So from there, we want you to be doing five to ten of these every single day. Switch up the two different angles. You can go here. You can go here. You can even take it out here, and we can go ahead and do a bunch of different angles because we want you to be strong and controlled from every angle. That's really the point. Um, about five to ten every day. Make sure you get on it, slow and controlled, thank you.